Yeah, a lot of improvements out there, but we're still cleaning up the mess, unfortunately. And I have to tell you, if the temperature was three to five degrees warmer than it was today, those winds could have been much worse. So we actually dodged a bullet. Those winds were actually on the lower end of what we could have achieved if temperatures were a little bit warmer and it did enough damage. So we'll take it. Uh, taking a look at some of the photos that you guys are sharing with us. This is from eWeather, Old Saybrook, Connecticut, looking angry, the Long Island Sound looking angry. This photo too windy for our flagpole. Unfortunately, you can see it bent over. This is from Christina in Jewett City. She said a big tree came down or a part of a tree came down in her neighbor's parking lot. And luckily nobody was there. But we also have some aftermath photos because towards the end of the day, the sun started to come out briefly making an appearance. The wind started to diminish. This is from Christopher Graham. He's saying local streams are cranking right now, and he's right. The rivers are swollen, and that's going to be another thing that we're going to notice in the coming days. The smaller rivers and streams tend to drop a little bit faster, um, but the Connecticut River, the Housatonic River, they take a little bit slower to come down. No flooding along the Connecticut River, but it definitely has come up. And this is from Michael Beck after the rain in Portland, Connecticut. Really beautiful shot, but again, um, those rivers and streams are up. And Mark Carlson sending us in this photo the light at the end of a tunnel and I like this caption um, maybe that you know a little bit of hope there after this storm today now Jen was talking a little bit about how dynamic this storm was for other parts of the country look at all the damaging wind reports today if I widen out the picture I hope my computer doesn't freeze because that's a lot of information to process here look at all these reports of either damaging winds or hail or unfortunately even tornadoes so as bad as it was around here today again our friends in the south and the southeast had to deal with a whole lot worse moving forward from here, the weather improving heading into tomorrow. Winds continue to diminish. Low temperatures tonight dropping back into the lower 40s for most. Heading into the day tomorrow will be partly cloudy. It's not a full sunny day, but we'll take it. And it's been like four or five days since we've had less wind. It's been breezy since, what was it, Thursday or Friday? High temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 50s, so it's looking like a fairly nice day. What I did want to show you is heading into Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. A storm gets pretty close to us, sliding just to the south and could just bring us a little bit of rain shower activity. But if it gets just close enough, there might even be a few flakes for parts of the state. I wouldn't expect any accumulation, but it's a curiosity, something to kind of distract us This with so much going on. The same is true as we head towards your Friday as well. High temperatures on Wednesday in the upper 40s to low 50s, chance for a morning shower, maybe a flake. And then again, Friday is a similar setup as well. Heading into the weekend, I think we're dry Saturday, but we see showers develop as we head through the afternoon on Sunday. And overall, looking at that seven day forecast, you'll see it's cooler there. We don't have any warm you know, days in the 60s that we could get out and really take a walk in some of those milder temperatures. Meteorologist Matt Scott and Danny Moranti will have an update on your forecast tomorrow morning on the Fox 61 Morning News.